Electrochemical detection of adrenaline on, pyro on pyrolytic electrodes coated with carbon nanotubes. Adrenaline plays an important role in the brain, wherein it acts as a neurotransmitter as well as a hormone. The neurotransmission effects of adrenaline are, based, are the fight and flight mechanism, modulation of other neurotransmitters such as dopamine, serotonin, Electrochemical detection of adrenaline, adrenaline, electrochemical detection of adrenaline on pyrolytic electrodes coated with carbon nanotubes. Adrenaline plays an important role in the brain, wherein it acts as a neurotransmitter as well as a hormone. Neurotransmission functions of the adrenaline are in fight or flight mechanism, a modulation of other neurotransmitters such as dopamine, serotonin, GABA, etc and its hormonal effects are based on controlling cognition and behavior functions. Given the widespread role of adrenaline played in the brain, it is utmost importance to develop electrosensors that are able to detect subsequent change of adrenaline in the brain. Considerable amount of research has been done towards detecting adrenaline in the brain, wherein electrochemical methods are considered as one of the widespread method because of the ability to integrate ultra micro electrodes which can fit into the tight brain space thereby allowing them to, to probe smaller brain areas without causing considerable tissue damage typically an electrochemical method makes use of a waveform which starts from minus 0.4 volts up to 1.3 volts and the signal is repeated typically at 10 hertz the overall process is up the waveform is applied at a working electrode, which ideally consists of carbon fiber methods, car, sorry, carbon fiber probes. However, carbon fiber probes are quite susceptible to biofouling, thereby one may make use of carbon nanotube based method, new use probes. Just by dip coating our carbon fiber electrode, sorry, just by dip coating our pyrolytic electrode with carbon nanotubes, we could see that our, our probe was able to, able to support high scan speed, faster temporal kinetics, and resistance to biofouling. Now, as we were recording our experiments, typically we found that adrenaline is oxidized as a, at 0 0.75 volts. However, the oxidation peak seems to be a broad, thus suggesting that adrenaline's oxidation is not a once or a one single electron process, rather there can be multiple processes involved. While as the molecule is reducing, we see that two distinct radix production peaks over here. When we tried mathematically modeling the, using the parameters, we could see that adrenaline has been oxidized around one volt and it's reduced around minus 0 0.15 volts. In order for us to study the mode of transport of adrenaline from bulk to the electrode surface, we varied the scan rate along, along with different currents, and we found out that adsorption remains the prime mode of transport. Thus suggesting that adrenaline adsorption means we can detect quite a no na low nano low nanomolar concentrations in the brain. To understand adrenaline oxidation, on, we converted a current acro across the voltage across number of repetitions. As we can see during the, in the hotspot, at the vortex potential, multiple broad oxidation and reduction peaks can be seen consistently across trials, thus suggesting uh, that a multiple oxidation peak and where is possible or a multiple electron transport kinetics process is possible. Compton's group recently gave, a, gave an electrochemical model for dopamine that suggests that dopamine oxidation can be explained in terms of electron, proton, and electron transport. To, 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 thereby, we make use of the exact same model and ensure that electrochemical oxidation of adrenaline is possible by using the same model. Although our present work make uses of graphite of quartz based electrode in which pyrolytic carbon has been fabricated, our future work would be developing 
flexible nanomaterials in which basically carbon would be grown on nano cavity. These materials would be uh, assembled on PDMS membrane, thereby ensuring that the flexibility of material matches the brain implants. Thank you.